Hi friends! Alright, so we're about to spray our plants with Caterpillar Killer and this is also a plant update because if you've been following all of our videos, they're tall as fuck at this point. Alright, so you take your distilled water. We've had this jug of water sitting outside for like three days now. You can buy distilled water or you can fucking leave it outside for like 24 hours. We're just too cheap to buy water we can't drink. Yeah. So this is the Caterpillar Killer we use. We use Asmax. There's this little like measuring, it's dirty. This yeah, like measuring thing up at the top so you can see how much you're putting in. We fill it to the four and just dump it into your water. It's at the four. It's fine. We don't have a second lid, it's okay. So he's spraying the mystery plant right now. You want to get up under the leaves. Also, you want to be spraying your plants when the sun goes down, so the sun doesn't like burn away everything you just sprayed on the leaves. You can have time to kill the caterpillars, but hopefully there's no caterpillars. Want to get it so it's like nice and dripping with the with the sprays. This is a Bruce Banner. For people that don't grow and maybe don't know, caterpillars are the worst thing to get on your plants because they'll eat all your buds, and you'll literally just have to throw them away. So it's really important to spray your plants before any of them start coming. They're not just regular old caterpillars either. There's some type of caterpillar that turn into a moth. We already watered and fed our plants, but I wanted to show you guys. We leave this mound up here, like we don't water or feed this or anything because you have your oxygen roots sticking out. You don't want to get those wet. This is the zombie death fuck one. She's fucking tall. You want to try and your best to not get this stuff on your skin? Because oh, the, ah, you sprayed me as you said that! As, oh my god, as you said that. It's fine if it gets on your skin. I'm, ah, Jalen! <laughs> get out of here! You're not gonna die, but just try not to. That's for panicking. We also have our tomato cages on our plants. The point of a tomato cage is when they're big and they're budding, you tie strings onto these and then around your branch so that your branch is held up and won't be weighed down by all your buds. It's really sad if a branch breaks because your buds are too heavy. All right guys, it's so sad. Literally as I was watering, the hose knocked off this whole it's not like a big ass branch, it's not that sad, but this is our budding plant, so it knocked off this branch right here. It has a bud on it, so this is a good chance to show you guys how I fixed it. I couldn't find any fishing line, so I just went to the house and I grabbed some floss, and I tied it down here, and up on this piece that's standing, because this one doesn't have a tomato cage, it didn't get big enough for one. I just tied it on to that piece right there. And now she's good. Her branches breaking aren't as bad as the others because she's really small, but I mean, I did cry. I was sad, let's be honest. All right, which one is this, babe? Bruce Banner, one number. Oh, first Bruce Banner. He's a great example of topping your plant. You see how he's growing in two different directions right here? Well, she, I'm sorry, she. She's going this way and up this way. Okay, well, he's spraying me, so I can't show you over there. Actually, look, we didn't, we didn't top this plant yet. So what you're going to do is go to the very top of your plant in this like pointiest tip. It's kind of hard to see. You pull back all the leaves so you're not pulling any leaves away. And I'm just going to pick this off. Just like that. Now it's going to grow from right here off into two different splits.
Look at him over there being cute. <laughs> Before he starts spraying it and I have time, let me show you how our budding plant is doing. As you can see, this is like, this is how your plant is going to bud if you don't top it. It's just going to have a big unicorn bud at the top of your plant. Like, bud. We're thinking we're just going to feed this one about two more times. That should be like two weeks from now and she'll probably be ready to be pulled. Ew, what the fuck is that? No idea. Ew. I mean, it's pretty, but get out of here. It's hot enough here, so even though we're spraying the actual buds, it'll get hot enough to burn that moisture off and not, not let the buds mold. It's okay to spray. Ah! Not me. It's okay to spray a budding plant. You just got to make sure you stop spraying a couple weeks before you're going to pull it so that you're not smoking caterpillar killer. Some people don't even like it to be sprayed while it's budding, but you know, we have, we've had too many problems with caterpillars to not spray. Yeah. God. <laughs> Spraying the plants featuring howling neighbor dogs. And then there's our dogs right there. Not howling. Ziggy, speak. No. <laughs> it's gonna be loud. So that's it for this video. I hope it was like a little informational. <laughs> Long story short, just spray your plants or you're gonna be really pissed when caterpillars eat them. <laughs> X, come out of hiding. <laughs> People are gonna be really mad about that. I'm triggered by that. Triggered! My man's dead. Leave him alone. <laughs>